Okay, we pretty well carved out the hill. It's roughed out just about the way we want it. And it's thin. You don't want to get it any smaller than that. Remember, always use your other boot if you have one as a guide because you want them to match when they're finished. Now on this side here, remember the arrow I drew up to that line? Well now we're going to carve away these two areas on this side of the boot to match this sole down here. And you just get your knife in there like that and you carve up to that point. See there how quickly that boot shape comes comes in uh, focus there? It really goes fast if you understand the, the anatomy, just like in doing a human face or otherwise, if you understand the anatomy of something, it's a real easy job. That's about 75% of it is understanding the anatomy. Okay, we've done this side. Now we'll go over here and do this side here. Now we're getting into a curved area here, which, because of this wide uh, blade, this knife doesn't work so well. So I'll switch over to this one here. Okay, now we'll, we've got that pretty well done. See, it's uh, pretty well matched up with the bottom of our sole, which, like I said, determines the shape of your boot. It's still pretty thick right in here. And we'll work on that when we bring this top down to that point. But we can still go ahead and shape the boot. So this is the right foot. So let's put our two boots, boots together. They'll be sitting like that right there. Like that. So let's take our right boot here. Remember the arch on this side? So we want to carve that in there. And we want the other side to have a gentle sweeping curve down to the point. shape this area right in here. Again, see how this curves in here? It comes up across. That's the beauty. It's wide here and kind of narrow in here. That's what really makes your boot look good. We've kind of got it right there, but we can emphasize that just a little more. Let me look at it here. By taking off just a little here and taking off a little over here. There, see how much better that made that boot look there? Looks good. Okay, now, this area right in here, if you take your knife, point, and you just slide it in there. As you bring it up, you can clean up that area and kind of bring it forward. Same on the back part of the boot. Watch out chips, because you don't want to chip your boot off. We'll refine these areas later on, but right now I just want to clean them up there. Now we'll start on the top of the boot. Okay, now remember we're going to go down to this line. Going up won't work, going down to it. So we start right here. Now this is where a good thumb guard comes in handy, because you need to use your thumb as a break for the point on the edge of your knife. Now that might sound kind of dangerous, but if you've got a good thumb guard and it's nice and thick like this one is here, I don't have to worry about that. So 
See, I push my thumb in to stop that knife blade from going beyond that area right there. If I didn't do that, this is what would happen. See what would happen? See what happened? My knife blade jumped down and scuffed the surface of this boot right there. I don't want that to happen. So I put my thumb right there to stop that. I was wondering why things were going so slow, and that was because I was using the wrong knife. So I grabbed over reliable here and things speeded up real quick. Anyway, I've got the front of the boot pretty well roughed out now. You can see. See there? Now we'll do the back. Now, I told you back here everything carves down. See this grain? See the grain line? We'll have to make a first our first cut will tell us how we're going to have to carve this. And it looks pretty good. It worked just like I was hoping it would. So we're good to go back here. We can continue carving right down to that line like that. Okay? So we'll just keep working away here. So we're continuing along here. We've just about got this thing finished as far as blocking out goes. That's looking pretty good. So now what you want to do, if you've got that second boot again, is to compare the two of them to make sure that you're heading in the right direction. And we are. They look pretty good. So the boot is basically blocked out. Now comes uh, the next part. Before we add any detailing up here at the top, we're going to have to rough out this hole in here. And for that, we're going to switch knives to something that will get down in there. So, just take your knife, get her in there, and just start spinning, spinning that wood out. Like that. Just take your time. It's going to take a while to get it all out of there. What you want to do is you want to gouge it out to where it's about like that. Okay, so don't get too far out here on the edges, and be careful, see how I chipped that out right there? Be careful when you get around these pull-ups, because uh, you don't want to do like I did. I mean, that's okay, it's not going to be a problem, but it's best not to do that. Just kind of stay away from that. Take your time. 